I have a little job coming with these um, 8mm diameter stainless steel rods. This one's got a, an M6 thread in one end and this one has a, an M8 external thread on the other end. And the requirement is, is to cut them off to length, they're both different lengths, um, and just thread in an internal 6mm internal thread on each end and the measurements required well, for example one is 216 and one is 225 millimeters so I thought, okay fair enough um, vert, digital vert calipers not long enough to measure that because they stop at 150 millimeters so I thought I used I just use a ruler it's not a critical measurement I use a ruler and then it occurred to me how accurate is a ruler? So I dug out my 14 inch verniers, uh, manual verniers, which are about 350 centimeters, millimeters, 350 millimeters. Um, so I set the verniers to, in this case, 216 millimeters. And I thought, let's have a look and see how accurate this is. And it's nearly a millimetre out. I know these aren't accurate, but a millimetre? So I thought, okay, I've got this um, rather inexpensive um, what do you call it? Um, square. Set square. So I thought I'd measure that, and it, it measures from this end back, which is sort of backwards, really. But, um, and that's half a millimetre out. So it just goes to show. So I've set this to the length that I want one of the rods cut to. And uh, that gives me something to go on. So we're going to go and cut it in the lathe. So we'll see you there. I've, uh, Put the stainless rod into a 5C collet um, on the lathe and uh, out of interest I'm measuring the run out of this particular collet. Now all collets vary, you get good ones, you get bad ones. Um, but this is the only 8mm one I've got so it's the one we're going to have to use. Um, and it's shown me a run out of it about nine and a half tenths so just under a thou perfectly fine for this application um, but I would have expected better from a 5c collet um, so I think as I use my collets I'll measure them all and uh, try and go through them because I do have some doubles anyway so that's what we've got um, and we're going to part this off a little over length um, this is a four millimeter cut off, four millimeter width cut off tool, um, which is probably a little on the large side for this job, but uh, I do like this tool. I've used many of the more modern types where the the inserts just clip in and push out, um, but I've not had much success with them, if I'm honest. So we're just going to use this one. Now I have resharpened this uh, particular piece of carbide on my tool and cutter grinder so it's got a very sharp edge to it. It'll be interesting to see how it does. I think we're probably a little bit too high, so I'm just going to adjust the tool height slightly. That's better. You can feel it's better.
I have to say that once I've sharpened these inserts, they do seem to perform better than as they come in the box. Probably better suited to this uh, smaller manual machine with a sharper edge. So we're just going to take it to there and then we're just going to break it off. So now I'm going to clean that up so that we can measure it. Speed the lathe up a little bit. There we go. Just take off any burr that might be present. There probably isn't one, but I need to take it off. I'm going to pop this out of the lathe now and take a measurement. I'm going to measure it with the verniers that I set earlier. I'll just do that off camera. So what I, I've done, I, I've got it in the verniers. Let's see if I can. So we want 216 and we've got 221. So we need to remove five millimeters off the length, which is easily done. So that's back in, and now we're just going to remove five millimeters off the length. Just touch off, set the dial on my top slide back out. Two full turns on my particular machine, this five millimeters. And we'll just part it up again. No messing about, just straight in and lob it off at the correct length. There we go. We're done with the, that tool for the minute. Um, we'll now come in because we're putting a, a six millimetre thread in the end of it we're going to drill it with a five millimetre drill bit now this is a carbide drill bit stainless steel is not a very nice metal to drill it work hardens very quickly and you need to get in and get out with, before the metal gets too hot so once you start cutting you need to just keep going and I'm using carbide because it will suit stainless steel better. As you can see, that is drilling like silk, which a high speed steel drill bit could have issues. And the last thing you want is a jam. Now I need to just double check how deep I need to go with that. I'm going to use a, a brand new tap this time. 
setting a lathe onto a slow speed and starting the threading off with the lathe. Stop there. Finish the threading off. by hand that does feel a bit on the tight side um, so we're going to run a slightly bigger tap uh, drill bit through there because I know those carbides are slightly undersized. It's fine for being slightly undersized for my old steel. saying it's fine to be slightly undersized for mild steel but not for stainless because stainless will grab the tap and you'll snap it so we need to give it a touch more clearance all right the drawing calls for a chamfer in the end of this but I think I'll take that half a millimeter off first before we do that just speed the lathe up a bit there you go doesn't seem much but that's what the drawing asks for so we're going to use this, where are we, this um, three fluted carbide drill bit as our chamfering, internal chamfering tool. And then we'll just show for the outside edge. So let me just That's a little chamfer. Nothing much. Yeah. 
and make sure we've got no sharp edges left. We don't want anybody cutting themselves. Check the part. For length. And we're spot on. Again, we're just checking with our vernier gauge that we showed earlier. It's not showing very well. 